Hello, most will have a dry night, but there will be one or two issues with fog thickening up in places. Could be quite dense for the morning rush hour. And gardeners take note, there'll be some patchy frost, not just tonight, actually, but for the next few nights where the skies stay clear. Now, always a bit more cloud across East Anglia and the southeast, and cloud increasing once more across the northwest. And it's not dry everywhere. There will be rain pushing into the Northern Isles and the Western Isles and parts of the Highlands. But elsewhere, it is dry. Mist and fog thickening up across the Midlands, South Wales, and Southwest England in particular. Parts of the Vale of York also seeing some mist and fog. And temperatures will be dropping away, well down into single figures. That's even in towns and cities. In rural areas where skies are clearest, well, there will be some pockets of frost as well. We could easily get down to minus one, minus two in a few places to start Friday. So a cold start to Friday. It will be a foggy start as well. That fog should steadily clear, but could easily linger through the morning rush hour. Further north, there'll be more cloud across Scotland and Northern Ireland compared to Thursday. And so we'll continue with some outbreaks of rain over the Highlands and the Northern Isles. But for most, it will be a dry day. And for many, certainly across England and Wales, it'll brighten up once the fog's gone. Again, plenty of sunshine. Some cloud across East Anglia and the southeast. That's for the Midlands, much of Wales and large parts of Northern England. There will be plenty of sunshine. And that sunshine will really lift the temperatures again, easily getting into the teens, mid-teens, maybe even the high teens in one or two places. Parts of uh, Lincolnshire, East Yorkshire could get up to 18, maybe even 19 degrees. More cloud further north of the outbreaks of rain, and it's going to turn colder across Shetland as well. It might brighten up here, but temperatures only in single figures, and that is a sign of things to come. That line of rain is a weather front which continues to trickle southwards on Friday evening, and uh, eventually by the time we get into Saturday morning, it could be bringing some rain through the central belt. And notice there, there will be some snow on the hills as that band of wet weather tracks south elsewhere. It's going to be a largely dry night, Friday night. And again, where skies stay clear, well, there will be some mist and fog. And there will also be a touch of frost with temperatures, even in towns and cities, not far off freezing as we start the weekend. Now, the weekend overall will be largely dry, not much in the way of rain. But it is going to be turning colder and we'll see more widespread nighttime frosts. Gardeners take note of that. Also, remember this weekend, it is Mothering Sunday and the clocks go forward through the early hours of Sunday morning.